Hey everyone, welcome to a beautiful day in Taiwan. So today is my second day actually in Taiwan and uh, I wanted to have a look at this place. Uh, it's like a popular night market area um, that we're going to be going to and uh, the way that you can tell this is the area is uh, we are right next to a station. Uh, I'm just going to put my glasses on because I forgot to put them on. Uh, it's a Formosa Boulevard station right here and this is the outskirts of it and if you see this area here you can see it's actually called Lu ah. I am not the best at pronouncing this, so I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, just up there, if you guys can see it, it's a Lu Hui, Lu Hui Night Market. That's what it's called, uh, slash Lu Hui Tourist Night Market. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, going on a walk and showing you what kind of foods they have here. So this is the start of the actual market itself. We've got some chestnuts rolling over there. Oh wow, so this is Taiwanese chestnut everyone. I'm just gonna be walking around. Oh man, this looks so good. Those look like uh, melon buns and a range of desserts right here. So this place opens from uh, 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. daily. Um, and they've got food stores here all along this street. Now, we're gonna be walking past each of this and finding, trying to find desserts to eat as well as some street food or just some food in general really. Oh, scallion pancakes. Actually that looks quite good. There's a lot of people waiting, waiting for it. So let's just have a look at what they're selling. Oh, actually that looks quite good. Perhaps we should grab some as well. Let's just quickly have a look at this. Uh, it says, I think it says, you know what guys, let's try this. I'm going to wait in line and then uh, let's grab one of this to eat while we walk along the street. All right, everyone, so we have just gotten a scallion pepper. That was uh, 45 for half of it. It says, must try authentic Taiwanese street food. Oh, is this one flour? Flour or? Yes. Ah, flour? Oh, okay. So what, how do you cook it? What do you do? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So you roll it and then you put in here? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, everyone. So what you do is they roll it. I think it's like a sort of dough, like a, like a dough where they put like spring onions in there. And then they put this in oil and then they roast it in there. Oh, that's how it looks like. Wow, look at all that steam. That looks amazing. Oh, can you see all the oil in there too? Oh, he's just pouring some oil in that teapot itself. What is he going to do? He's going to chuck it in. Oh, that's my street food. Let's see what happens when it finally cooks. All right. Kind of reminds me of a pizza the way they're doing it right now. Oh wow. Perfect, thank you very much. All right, actually, you know what? I wonder if we can eat it anyway. No, nope, we can't. Alright, I'm just going to walk around while this cools down and see what else there is. Oh cool, 
fun. They've got like little games here too. Oh, look at these games. They like shooting games. Oh. This reminds me of pinball. Oh, maybe it is pinball. Some fruit shakes here. And so we've just gotten to the beginning of the place. And uh, I need to figure out how to eat this or where to eat this, really. Maybe I'll just go to my next spot. Ooh. Maybe this is where it really starts. So this is like noodles. Look at that pork grilling, that's a pork leg. That's like a pork, pork, pork. Barbecue pork foot. Wow. Some sausages. Oh, so these are must be like the candies. What are these? Oh yeah, they're hard. They're like candy. Mm, this smells really good here. So this is like the diffuser perfume section. Oh, there's a range of things here, really. Hello. Hello. Uh, noodles here. Oh. Hello. 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 How are you? Taiwanese chestnut. Amazing. Dumplings here. Okay, guys, I have no clue what to eat here. Like, what's like actual Taiwanese uh, like food itself? So, if you guys know what I should be eating, please let me know. All right, so these are more like barbecue sticks. This is pork with green onion flavor. Oh man, this is great. There are so many options here. So the one thing I probably am a little bit surprised about is I thought there would be a lot more people here. So we're in Kaohsiung. It's a, uh, oh, hold on, let me just check what time it is. 7.10 Saturday. Very interesting. I mean, it's great because it means I can move easily, but also it's just not what I was expecting. Hello, hello. Oh, this is like roti. Hi. Hello. Mm. It's like Thailand roti. Yeah, it's like Thailand roti. Some more barbecue sticks. Instable Turkish roll. You cannot go anywhere without having a kebab. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Squid. Oh, that's, those are pretty fat squids. Oh, wow. That looks, those look amazing. What's this? Fried squid. Some lingerie, if anyone wants some lingerie, they've got lingerie here too. What's this? Pork belly kimchi roll. Hello, hello! Pork Kelly. Oh, pork belly kimchi roll. Oh, the best! <laughs> I'm from Australia, where are we? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You from Taiwan? Yes. Ah, how long you sell here for? Yeah, how long you sell? How long you sell yes. here? You sell? sell? Oh, you make yourself? Yes. Oh, wow, wow. What is that? So kimchi? Yes, kimchi. Very nice. Yeah? 
Oh wow. You're from you're from Vietnam. Oh, you found that from Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. Oh, so you saw that and then you make here. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll grab one then. How about I grab one? How much is one? Uh, 150. 150? For yeah. one? For one? Two. Two? Can I do one? 150. Is there one? How much is one? No. Oh, you don't do one? Ah, uh, see, like. We're saving two. Because I, th I can't eat that much. That's the thing. Uh, okay, one? Yeah. One, 50. 50? Can I do one? One, 80. 80. Okay, I'll do one. I do one. I do one. I might as well try it. I've never had this before. Thank there you, you so go. Much. Not a problem. And which one is the best sauce for it? This is in Vietnam. Ah, in Vietnam. Yeah, this is in Vietnam. City. Ho Chi Minh City. I'm thinking this is Taiwanese. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you as well. What's your name? My name is Nam. Nam? Nam in Vietnam. Oh, Nam in Vietnam. Wow, okay. So Nam is really grilling it. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that, everyone. Look at that girl. gonna make it super crispy. Look at all that steam coming out from this side. All right, is. Oh, we've got sweet on that side. Oh god, we have just came to the beginning and we haven't gone far. And there are so many places that we can eat at and so many dishes. Like I'm just so confused as to what I need to eat. So I'm gonna like save my stomach to see what else I can have here. Oh, perfect, is cutting it as well. Oh, what sauce is that? Is that barbecue sauce? That sauce. Is Ku uh, sauce. Ku sauce. Ah, oh, sauce, 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 sauce. I think maybe. Spicy and pepper. Oh yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. And whatever you think is good. Okay. Whatever you think is good, just put it on. <laughs> I'll go with your recommendation. All right, guys. Super excited to try this out. Oh, some more sauce on top. I love watching them make it. It's like their art and craft. It's the beauty of like street food, everyone. Oh, I think they just chucked like, everything on there. I'm gonna get like some really bold flavors today. <laughs> oh, and some kimchi too. Oh man. Thank you very much. Oh. And can I eat over Thank there? You so much. Can I eat over there? Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Mary. Perry. Nice to meet you, Nam. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna give us a shot. Hey, perfect, because uh, we actually got um, the uh, pancakes that we haven't eaten yet. So, you know, we're gonna mix up both and we get to sit down and eat this as well, which is perfect, because I haven't even found a spot where I can actually eat yet. So, this here, you have just seen him make it, but you know what I wanna try first? I really wanna try the actual pancake itself. So, let's give it a shot. So, they say this is like the Taiwanese authentic uh, pancakes, scallion pancakes. Mm. Mm. I don't know how to describe this, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So, the pancakes itself, inside is soft, outside is like crispy. It's got a really thin layer, so it's not like your normal bread or, I wanna say it's like a crepe. Mm. It's a thin layer of pancake, but it's not like the sweet pancakes you get from the, like, what do I say? It's not like the sweet pancakes you get from, like, a cafe or something. It's like the savory sort of um, 
uh, pancake itself, but super chewy. Not super, yeah, super chewy. It's a super chewy. Uh, inside is very thin layer of softness, and uh, the pepper, the pepper you can really taste on this. So yeah, it's got a really nice uh, savory sort of uh, taste to it. I love it. It's great. I've actually had this as a kid as well. My mum used to buy like the frozen dough from the actual like convenience store, and she used to make this. So like. I've got like a really sort of, uh, I wouldn't say surprise, but yeah, I would say surprise to it because I'm like, I've, I've tried this before, I've had this before, so yeah, awesome. Now, this here is the kimchi sort of stuff. I think you said it was kimchi inside, right? Rolled pork belly in this. My GoPro is like stuck in between like my plastic bag. All right, cool. Let's give this a shot, guys. So this is the uh, 80 Taiwanese dollars that I spent for this. Let's go. Mm. Wow. Wow. Guys, so much is happening in my mouth right now. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> there is so much flavor. I have no idea what I'm tasting right now. So the inside, the sausage is like salty. And then the, the barbecue or the sauce is put on top is like a very sweet sort of strong barbecue taste to it. And then it's also added like sesame seeds on top, like some pepper on top. And also, um, I don't know what that green thing is. It's also added that on top as well. And eating this with like the kimchi as well. It is such a big flavor. I have never tried anything like this before. So he's actually invented this from Vietnam, as he said before. So very, very interesting. So have a look at that. It's like a sausage, but yeah. Mm. Inside's very soft. It doesn't even taste like a um, sausage. The texture is more like seafood, like mm, like very um. I wouldn't say like squid, but something softer than that as well. So yeah, super interesting. So what I'll do is I'm gonna finish this off. Then we've got so much food and so much other sort of stores that we haven't even passed yet. So let's just keep going. I'm gonna finish this and try my best to finish that. And then we're gonna go on another tour. So let's go. Okay guys, I've just finished that. That was absolutely delicious. Very flavorsome as well. Thank you, Nam. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> All right, as we are going to continue on our walk, I have such a weak stomach. So like after I had that, I was so full. I haven't even finished the pancake that I had as well. So like, yeah, we're just gonna see what other food they have. Um, I probably only have room for like one more, one more dinner, and then I think I'm done. Like, I'm like, my stomach just can't take anymore right now. But you know, there's always room for dessert, right? So um, I've got a few night markets left to hit in Taiwan. So I'm not too sort of a uh, keen on um, exploding my stomach as well as like trying to fit in as much as possible so yeah I'm just gonna see what desserts that we can have today and uh, see what this night pack is all about I'm so excited right now can you guys believe the food here this is so good oh what is that it smells very herby like um like Chinese herbs, but I'm not too sure what that is in particular. Mmm, it seems to be a line, but it must be popular. Oh, guys, I think it's starting to pick up right now. Maybe it's not like a, maybe this night market is not like a, um, like a 7 p.m. thing. It says it opens till 2 a.m., so I'm assuming maybe like people come a little bit more later than what, uh, uh, other people generally do, because like, when I go to like Thailand and stuff like that, it generally gets packed around like the 6, 7 p.m. mark. So I don't know like whether it's a... Oh, yeah, I don't know whether there's like a, a thing here where it's like more like later throughout the day. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. Chicken feet with garlic. So that's chicken feet. This one is... Orange juice. Thick cut meat. Oh wow. There are so many options. I just no clue what to actually get. Oh. 
Oh, this is Ooh, this one's a king oyster mushroom. So they fry the king oyster mushroom and then they sell it. What else is here? Oh, this is a noodle and they've got chicken on top. Mm. There's another area here which you need to cross. And let's see what else they sell. Oh, see. Wow. What is he making here? It must be like making like batch sort of fried rice or something. It kind of looks like that right now. Yeah. Oh, look at all that oil. Alright, and the egg. Oh, check that out. Do you guys find it fascinating to watch these sort of things? Because I do. I love watching them do their craft. Oh, he's even got them like... Oh, is that the onion now? So the ingredients are up there. Oh, it's very steamy right now. Yeah, this is definitely fried rice, isn't it? Oh, fried rice with pork. That's what it is. Wow, look at him go. <coughs> kind of reminds me of teppanyaki. Soy sauce on top. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh. You know, guys, seriously, at times like this, I wish I had someone to travel with because, like, at this time, we would be eating food right now and then I'd get to have, like, a little bit of everything. But right now, I can only eat as much as, like, my stomach allows me to. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting experience, and uh, I really want—I really want someone to travel with right now because I'm looking at all these food and I really want to eat it. Oh man, that looks good. What's this? Oh, I see. So you get a cut of meat. You get a cut of beef. A uh, small one is a hundred. And then you just eat it. And he cooks it for you right in front like that. Oh, I love it. This is cool. This is awesome, everyone. Let's have a look at what else I have. This is a raw squid. I think this is to do with noodles. Oh, this looks epic. This reminds me of like the scorpion section in, um, in Thailand. And what is that? Guys, I have no clue what everything is, but the only thing I know is that over there, the second one that I'm pointing at right now, that's a duck head. I'm not sure if the rest are organs, but interesting. Alright guys, I think we're almost at the end of the night market right now. And uh... Oh. There's something called a Taiwanese hot dog. There's a line here. Should we get it? Oh wow. I think we should get it. There's a line here. I think it must be that good that there's a line here. So I'm just going to like wait in line and get it. Um, and then see what it tastes like really. Alright, so I'm standing at the back of the line and... Oh, order? Yeah, oh perfect. Alright, so Taiwanese hot dog, 50. There's Kina, original, red yeast, guzzle, black rice and curry. Holy shoot, I did not know which one to go for. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, this is weird. I have never seen this before. 
sticky rice flavor. Let's just go with Kina since it's original. I think that one must be Kina. Uh, I'll just go with the Kina one. Uh, original? Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not a problem. Oh, now that I'm reading it properly, this is actually sticky rice. So it's Taiwanese sausage with sticky rice. Taiwanese sausage and sticky rice. So that's what it's meant to be. Oh, I see. That's going to be a very interesting mix. I've never tried that. So yeah, we're going to definitely give this one a shot. Thank you. Thank you. Just all, please. All of you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right away. Thank you. All right. That's mustard, soy sauce, and chili. Oh wow, that looks good too. Some garlic. Ginger slice, and also some pickled cucumber as well. Oh, look at that go. <laughs> like it right now or take away? Uh, I'll, I'll eat here. Oh, okay. I'll eat it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we've just got this. Actually, I'm going to stand over there. I feel like this is the best way to eat it. It's quite packed over there. Um, so we're going to give this a shot everyone sticky rice and sausage oh i've never heard of that before i'm chinese and i haven't even heard of it before well maybe just because i'm western chinese so i don't really know much about like the actual food itself um yeah let's give this one a shot oh okay let's go ah i'm so excited oh my gosh look at it it's looking at me i'm looking at it all right let's eat it Hmm. Mm -hmm. That is very interesting. Wow. So, believe it or not, it actually tastes like sticky rice. Or it did say sticky rice, but when you're eating a Thai, um, what's it called? Mm, like one of those Thai um, sticky rice and the Lao sausage with it on top. That's what it tastes like. Like if you're eating it with a spoonful, they pretty much just put it into like a bread roll itself. And um, this is this is great, like a great design because instead of eating it with a spoon, you can just eat it as a bread. I think the whole flavor's there. The Chinese sausage is actually very sweet though. And um, the cucumbers, the pickled, wait, the pickled cucumber, the ginger, as well as the garlic complement it itself. So you know sometimes tea rice can get a little bit filling, right? Uh, it helps break down that sort of like uh, similar taste that you get in your mouth for that time So yeah, it definitely is a good mix in terms of it. So definitely a vibe very sweet with the Chinese sausage sticky rice is very um, Interesting it's got hingna in there as well and uh, the pickled uh, vegetables really go well with it so guys this is really popular and I can see why it's popular it's such a different sort of design to it and a different mix it's a uh, very interesting and it's very popular so this here is the market and I would say if you happen to be here definitely try this out because this is a um, very different I've never had this before and it's a uh, it's definitely a vibe um, so let's continue to go on this tour while I actually uh, finish eating this sausage as well let's see what else we have Mm. So we've got like uh, some fried food here too. Oh, what's this? Mm. Ah, it's crackers and they put the filling in themselves. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm so full right now though. So fresh seafood, and they've got uh, oranges as well. Orange juice. <gasps> oh, this looks like good vibe. Another good vibe. Ten dollar cake. You know what? I might try that too. Actually, let's go and walk around first to see what they have, and um, then we'll uh, decide what dessert we want because uh, 
we are just almost at the end. I probably want to finish this off as well. I don't want to leave it too cold. Um, but they've got like, oh, that's like pork. Flavoured pork, dried pork, everyone. Yeah, as you can see, we're almost at the end. So I want to take you guys down to the end of the uh, actual place. Oh, geez, that actually smells really good. That smells really good. Oh, I'm so full. Uh, has to be next time. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so full. I'm so sad right now. Nice. Right, so this here is a uh, braised pork noodles that they have here. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Here's some strawberry tea right here. If you're a strawberry lover like I am, definitely a vibe. Oh, this looks very different. I don't know what this is though. It actually smells very herby, like Chinese herbs. Um, so uh, this here is a uh, some dessert, Taiwanese dessert. <laughs> Similarly, this is beef as well. And at the end, we've got the chicken as well. All right, guys, so this is how you know you've reached the end of the actual market itself. Uh, the reason why you know this is the end of the market is because it's got a sign here and you're at the Khao Sang Lao Tourist Night Market sign over there. And you pretty much just turn around back again um, to see what kind of foods they have. So what I'll do is I'll finish this off. I'm going to have a walk around and see what desserts they have. Um, and then let's see how they make it and uh, yeah, see what else, what else they have here. Alright, so I know that I said that I was gonna uh, take you guys to the dessert place, but there was just so much things that I was walking by that I thought it was such a waste not to show you guys. So um, I'm actually back at where the start is, and uh, I thought I'd show you guys this because I had no clue what it is, but he's like beating that thing up and um, he's chucking it in that area, and uh, it must be like some sort of like uh, preserved meat sort of thing because it smells like one of those like uh, dried fish um, that they sell where they eat it with porridge. So yeah, I just didn't know what it is, but I thought it was like quite interesting itself. Um, yeah, super, super, super interesting. It seems like they've got awards for some of their food as well. All right, so we've walked on that side. Now we're going to continue walking on this side and I'm going to show you exactly what foods they have on this side to the end. Um, oh, okay, so we've got some soup, some noodle soup. Some beautiful noodle soup. Oh, some shaven ice. So this must be like the dessert would have shaved ice and they put like those are, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, those are uh, things on top like the beans and uh, jellies as well. Oh, nice. They've got condensed milk on top too. Yeah. So like I said, guys, I'm like super full right now. Um, I'm like after having that Taiwanese dessert, I, I mean Taiwanese, hot dog i actually don't even know if i can have dessert anymore oh look at those strawberries those strawberries look amazing some more taiwanese desserts oh look at that soup These are, I believe, custard apple. Oh, look how cute they've got. They've been actually coloured on top of the uh, coconut shells too. That's adorable. These are quail eggs. There's more chicken here. This kind of reminds me. Hello, hello. Oh, this uh, smells like cumin. Beef and lamb, Chinese style barbecued meat, seafood pancakes. Oh. There's some dessert on this area as well. It's like baked goods. 
make bread, I think. Yeah, so they sell mochi here as well. Japanese style mochi. What do I have here? This one is meat. Sort of like hot pot thing. Oh no, I think they've got noodles in there and they've had like seafood inside as well. Oh, this must be the uh, egg thing I saw last time. Egg and a mussel. They've got some milk tea here that they serve as well. Oh my goodness, that is a massive pearl uh, pot right there. So they've got all pearls and brown sugar in that. Tiger milk tea, that's what they call it. Tiger milk tea. So they add that on top as well. We've got some fruit shakes here. They sell some goods, some wallets, some belts, some bags, some sugar cane here too. Oh, fresh sugar cane in particular. Look at that spraying out water, my goodness. They even have takoyaki boards here too. Here they even have like different flavored takoyaki boards. They've got like Thai sauce, chocolate condensed milk. That's interesting. Plum powder, curry, garlic, green mustard, Taiwan, Taiwan tea as well. Oh, that's interesting. So you think that'd be like Japanese style? It is Japanese style, but at least they've like added like uh, a mix of like Taiwan, um, like I guess like what do you say? Like a mixture of their food in there as well. So it's like cross bread sort of thing. That's pretty cool, right? I think it's cool. Mm, corn, 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 corn. I wonder if the corn actually tastes very different here. There's more of the strawberry stuff over here. And we're just going to cross the road again. Alright, what do they have here? We've got some hairbrush. Accessories. Oh, that's not a strawberry, that's a tomato. Interesting. I wonder if that would be a vibe. I mean, if you're putting sugar on top, anything is a vibe because it tastes so good. Wow, look at those duck heads. Oh, these are like oysters right here and prawns there. Oh dear, that is a frog right there. Oh wow. Oh, they've got mochi here. Mm. I just want to have a loo. Pieces. Ice cream. Some soup. Let's see what they have. 
shakes. These are some like candies. Rose almond. Hello, ni hao. Original almond. Hello, hello. Oh. It's like a fried seafood like sort of thing. Like they've got shells in there as like um, snails uh, that they sell. Let me just show you guys. Oh, it's on that side, but it's just squid. This one is tofu. They've got tofu here that they sell. It's like fried tofu. You know what I've also noticed in Taiwan? There are a lot of claw machine sort of shops as well. Like when I was walking past this area, I thought I saw like at least like 10 of them just walking around this area itself. So um, I thought that was very interesting. This is Thai milk tea here. We sell Thai milk tea here. Okay. Wow, look at that. This one's shawarma hot plate. So it's like shawarma bread. They put like chicken in there as well. Some more fruit shakes. See, look, I'm telling you, there's another two at the back. It's like a claw machine sort of thing. That's crazy. Oh, they sell beer out here too. Hello. Wow, look at this place. They're selling like beef on a stick. to see a lot more people come here it's like picking up quite a lot so I must have been mistaken I think it does get busier at night uh, later throughout the day I think it's like eight o'clock now um, and it's starting to pick up oh they've got like lobster Mornay and prawn Mornay I think it's Mornay I think Mornay is when they chuck like cheese in there there's crabs Prawn. Wow, what's this? Oh, so it's like a uh, salmon. That reminds me of the scallion uh, pancake that I ate. There's a bubble tea store right here. And so let's check out what else they have here. Wow, hello, hello. Oh, Let's go. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll try this out. Alright, let's try this. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah, very good. <sighs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Guys, definitely worth a try here. I am too full to eat right now, but that was really good. I'm not too sure what this is. Oh. I'm not too sure what that is, everyone. What's this one? Sweet potato. Hi, ni hao. Some chicken. Fried chicken. Some fruit. That's interesting. They put something in that tomato. Hello. Mm. Soup noodles. Soup noodle. It's noodle soup. My bad. Oh, they got some Hong Kong style uh, waffles as well.
Oh, that looks really good too. Look at that, everyone. This smells good too. Oh, and that is all ready. What did I put in there? Oh. And it's all done. Oh, that's the takoyaki balls. Actually, there's a few takoyaki balls here that I've seen. More bubble tea. Oh. Huh? Oh. Guys, I wish I could read Chinese and tell you what's actually on the menu, but I can't. It's uh, such a shame because I am Chinese. I speak Cantonese, but I can't speak Mandarin. So it's been like really challenging for me to actually um, like speak sometimes because uh, they don't really understand what I'm trying to say sometimes because I don't some of them don't speak English like some of the uh, 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 what's it called store vendors don't speak English so it's been just a bit challenging. And when I mean like store vendors, I mean like store vendors uh, throughout the day that I've been uh, going to. Um, some of them don't speak English, but I think majority of them should. <laughs> oh, these fruits look amazing. Yeah, no, just like I, I'm not saying like everyone is. I'm just saying like based on my experience of what I've um, like who I've spoken to so far, and like just the restaurants I've been to, uh, it's just been a little bit challenging. Even the menu as well, like that I can't um, read. Chinese, which is just shame on me because I should have been able to learn that when I was a little bit younger. Never thought it'd come in handy, but guess what? It definitely should have come in handy if I was to do it and I was to learn properly when I was in school. But that's okay, we always learn, right? And we can always learn when we're older. So, one day, guys, I will learn how to speak Mandarin one day. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the end of the line. So what we've done is we've just explored this whole thing. We've just gotten back to the entrance over here um, where I took you on that, uh, was showed you that Louis Tourist Night Market sign right there. Um, I've literally just showed you the rest of the market. And uh, we have pretty, pretty much finished this tour. So um, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back for more. All right, see you guys later. Have a good night. Bye, everyone.